to use this as dual secchi or showman. So this is where the judges would be in a contest or in a demonstration. And you start to cut off, right? You don't really, I on this side, Hori's on this side, which is a the opposite side to what you would be on if you were doing Nagano or Gitamino, right? But then you go to get to right, your Tori's this side. So we do the first technique as we did this way. Get this one. Hey, hey! And then we change ends to the second technique. Be careful that you don't turn away from Joseki. Always turn for Joseki if at all possible. The second technique is a dari early dory, right? Left collar grip. Okay? He gives me collar and he's trying to push me down. Now if I resist and he's stronger than me, then my balance is gonna go on and gonna fall over backwards. So I don't resist, I give way to it, okay? By stepping back, okay? And that immediately takes his balance. The fact that he doesn't get the resistance that he thought he was going to get, and I step back. Also, to help doing that, I grip my own lapel and pull. And that does two things. It loosens the grip here, right? And takes his hand away from my chest, which gives me a little bit more space. My hand goes onto his wrist as before. Okay. Straight into the face. This time your hand's open. It's not knife hand, it's not Tegatana. Your fingers are open. And it's what Japanese call Metsubushi or blinding technique. Doesn't mean that you're blinding him, it means that you're distracting him. You're taking his mind off what you're doing somewhere else, okay? So this doesn't even have to make contact, just a flick of the fingers turns his eyes away, makes him blink, and then your hand comes on to his wrist. And you turn the wrist over. Your hand goes onto his elbow like this. Not like that, as you would do for Ude Katami. This is called Yahazu, this, this shape, arrow shape, Yahazu, right? under his elbow, and then you step. It's the same lock, basically, as you had before on the wrist, okay? But you've also got an elbow lock on this time. You take his balance, you move this way, okay? If you look at his feet, the direction his feet's in, his weak line, for you people that are into this sort of thing, his weak line's this direction, okay? So I want to be taking him in this direction to break his balance, and that takes him down. Be careful when you're taking somebody down, you don't want to damage their elbow. Your knee, don't actually kneel on them, right? But kneel into them. And here's the important thing. That's fairly comfortable for Paul at the moment. You might, you might, you might think it is, but it is. It's when I move up to here that it makes a difference. So you're trying to move the arm higher up. It's not just about pushing in on the elbow. It's about raising the arm above shoulder height. <laughs> okay, so I over lock move off lean in with your knee and then just raise it above. That's really all you have to do to get that submission. One more time. This is first technique was called Riyoti Dori, two up two wrist grab, two arm grab. This is Hidari left collar, Hidari Dari left collar. <coughs> Grip, Hidari, Eri, Dori. Hey! Okay. Right, let's do that one. 